Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and we're gonna do a little crazy lady shut-in crafty business tonight. <laughs> I needed to dye some fabric for a project that I have coming up, and so I'm bringing you along with me. Um, the fabric I'm doing is for a cross stitch. This is even, it's called Even Weave. I have two different brands. It's 28, 28 counts, so it's 28 strands to the inch, 28 threads. Here's the thing. This will work with any cotton fabric. So if you're sewing with it, if you're embroidering, if you're cross stitching, whatever you're doing. So I have two different pieces. This piece, that piece there was from DMC. And it is a little thicker, harsher, I'm not really sure. DMC, it's called Silver Standard Needlework Fabric. 28 even weave. 100% cotton, it is 15 inch by 18 inch. This one is gonna get tea dyed. We're gonna put tea on it and let it sit. So that's the tea dyed. This one here is from um, Hobby Lobby, that was from Joanne. This is Artiste brand, 28 count even weave, 100% cotton. This piece is 30 inches by 36. It was regularly $19.99, but I used a 40% off coupon. And we're gonna dye this a gray with some writ dye. This is a big piece because I've got, my Christmas piece is gonna go on this and then whatever's left I can reuse. But we need to dye these up. So our materials, writ dye, I needed hot boiling water, salt, and this calls for Dawn. I don't know why, but it does. So a little bit of Dawn. Um, and then in here I have some salt. Salt just helps dye take. And then I have two tea bags that I just brought to temperature. I'm not sure if that's quite the color I'm looking for. I may add just a couple crystals of instant coffee to that. So what I'm just gonna do is wet this fabric. I have these Dollar Tree containers that they're both gonna get dyed in. One, I got two of them. And then they'll go in the dishwasher. This is not food safe, but it's non, I don't think it's toxic either. I mean, it might be, but I'm not eating out of these containers, so it's fine. Um, and I'll run them through the dishwasher. And rent, you can also do through the washing machine. They only had charcoal gray, and I don't want it quite this dark, so we're gonna mess around with quantities. But first, we're gonna shake it up. All right, let me wet these, get them in here, and I will show you what I'm doing. All right, so I've got the water boiling. I had to upsize this, but I'm gonna show you. Now, here's the thing. I want my fabric model -y. I want it like dark in some spots and light in others. So what I'm doing is kind of crinkling up my fabric. You can do this with paper too, just so you know. Any fabric, paper, natural fibers will dye. Um, so I'm just crinkling it up because the highs and the lows, I want them to have different colors. And then I'm just going to take this salty tea water and pour it in here. The point is I want to submerge it. So we're going to add here in a second, some boiling water to that. Just to heat it up. This tea kettle just came to boil. There we go. Now I may add some more tea to that if I don't get the color that I like. Uh, but for now, it's always better to go lighter than darker. And I already have a pretty dark piece that I used coffee. And you're just gonna kinda make sure it's all under the water and let it do its thing. That's it for that. Now with this, I did the same thing in this bowl. Just kind of crumpled it all up. Now we have some work to do over here. But I have all my fabric just kind of crinkled up in here. So I had to shake my rib. Woo! Throwing stuff. The side of the bottle was for the to dye the whole thing. We're not doing that. So I added some salt and a little bit of dawn. I don't understand the dawn, but we're gonna go with it. And then I'm going to pour the boiling water up to the top and let it all kind of, we're dissolving here. 
Now, when this is done, I do wash the dye out of my fabric and the tea, just so you know. All right, so we're just gonna stir this and let the uh, detergent and the salt dissolve for a second. Then we're gonna keep shaking this and we're gonna open it up and we're just doing a little bit at a time um, because I want a pretty light gray. I'm just pulling the lid off of this and I can always use this dye again in the future which is there's a couple reason I would go with um, oh you should be wearing gloves but I'm not touching this with my hand so I'm good if you're gonna get in here and kind of zhuzh it around you'll want gloves it will dye your hands a couple reasons I went with the liquid dye over um, see I'm just doing a little at a time the liquid dye over any um, the powder is you can never, I don't feel like ever really dissolve the powder. So here's just a little tiny light gray. We're gonna add one more. And where the, the liquid comes already dyed, if that makes sense. It comes already dissolved, I'm sorry. In this container, it's already liquid, so there's not gonna be any crystals. Now, I'm doing this pretty light. Um, and what you can do to test, take a paper towel. I do this when I dye yarn too. Take a little droplet. Yeah, see that's a really good color gray. I don't want a super dark gray. I want more of a dingy. <laughs> People try to get their whites white. I'm trying to get my whites dingy. Isn't that crazy? And then we're just gonna pour it over. You just really wanna be careful with this stuff. This is writ, so it will get in your, you know, stuff. Now I need to add more water to that. And then I'll run that. I don't cook out of that. I don't use, or I should say, I don't use that um, measuring cup much for cooking. All right, now we have that full. And the hot water is going to help. And then these will get thrown away and everything else goes to the dishwasher. So we're just doing our thing. We're going to leave it under the water. Let it all sit for like 30 minutes. And then we're going to come back, strain it, and rinse it. Rinse it out. And I think that's going to be a good color gray. I wanted like cement gray. This is going to be, I'm doing the Kringles Christmas building on this when I get ready to start that project. So now we're just gonna let it kind of stain it up a little bit, that's about all we can do. Let me add a little more water to that, um, just cause I wanna make sure it goes, you know, that everything is kind of under the water, which is perfectly fine. Let me get my spoon. And like I said, you could do this to anything. If you have some cotton fabric, like tablecloths that are stained, just over dye them. Clothing, this is just fun. And I will tell you that to buy this fabric that's been dyed by somebody else can be very pricey. And I just don't have those funds. So we're just going to do it like that and let it kind of hang out. Same thing over here. We're just letting our tea dye hang out and like I said I don't really want this tea dye too dark I have a project in mind for that as well so we are done we're gonna let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes and then we'll come back and wash it and see what it looks like we're gonna... all right guys we're going to clean this up it looks kind of purple to me but it does say that it is um, darker until you, you know, when it's wet. So we're gonna speed this up and we're gonna wash it with some Dawn. All right, it's looking kind of purple to me, but we're gonna dry it and iron it and see what happens with this color. Now, next up, We have the tea one, which I'm going to wash in the same bucket, but that's just tea. <gasps> Pretty. 
and we're going to do the same thing. And do you see the modeling? It's because I left it in there um, all crinkled up. All right. So that is really a light tea dye, which is what I was looking for. Um, I may over dye it again, just depending what it looks like when it comes out of the dryer. Just to add another layer, I would like it just a little darker, but we're going to see for this time around, I may have to over go, go over with some coffee. But let's go dry these and hope that my purple turns gray. If not, I'm going to have to purchase some more fabrics to try to get that gray color that I'm looking for. Okay, so I wasn't happy with the purple. So I re-dyed it and that looks really dark. But we're, we're pulling out the gloves for this. It's, I don't know if it's gonna be the color I want, but we're gonna see. So let us, and I had to get a bigger board. So what we're gonna do is wash it out. I just realized I never showed you the fabric that I was dyeing when it was finished. So, this is a project bag that I made. I'm going through all my fabric and I am piecing things together. Um, so I did make this one. It's holding a very special project. I'll show you. And I even took the time to cut the fabric so that it was all one direction. Um, so there's a seam here at the bottom, a seam at the top. So I made this. And then to go with it, I made a coordinating little notions pouch. And this again was all fabric I had because Ohio is now on lockdown. Um, here is all my flosses. They are in floss baggies. Some of these were expensive, but this is how I'm gonna store them. I haven't started this project yet, but I need to dye the fabric. And this is what it's, it is. It's called the Kringles. I hope you can see. I have a smaller one. It's a department store, guys. How? Let me take this out of the plastic. And this is a list of all the flosses, but. Oh, I hope it focused. There we go. Is that not beautiful for Christmas? So I keep a journal of all my projects, mostly, not the little tiny ones. And I put a picture in there. So this will go in my journal. This was. Um, I bought the floss separate. I bought a kit that already had all the floss. And then this is the pattern. Now, when I was showing you the fabric I was dyeing, it was for this project that I was trying to get a piece for. And I used, as I showed you, this Artiste, and it's from Hobby Lobby. And then I have some other fabrics that I dyed I thought I would share with you. And this, like I said, this is all cotton. It, this goes for any fabric that you really would like to, um, to dye. Okay, so I purchased this piece of linen. It's called Belfast. And this is 28, oh, this is 32. So it's a little bigger. I will use this. So, but this piece of fabric here, I think was like $6 for this little tiny piece. And it was dyed. And I think it's Zweigart, I believe. And then I purchased this piece, which I know is $9. Um, and I like these. This is also a 32 count linen and it will get used as well. I will use these. I just wanted to dye some of my own. So then, during this process, I did some coffee and tea dyeing of some Ada. So that's pretty dark, but that's an Ada. And you see how this is all different, like, modeled? That's what I'm looking for. This was coffee and tea dyed, and it started off as a cream color to begin with. And then I dot this one is also a coffee and tea dot. I dot them at the same time, but their beginning color was different. And again, it's just a nice dark, like dirty, muddy, playing outside in the rain and the modeling. So I dyed that. And this is just all practicing. Now, 
I have two projects I'm getting ready to start. Well, one and then the other. One of them is called the Suffrage Act. And I just tea dyed this piece of fabric for that. And this is the, this is 28 count um, Zweiger even weave. So I have that and look at how the coloration is. It just looks old and dingy. And this was done with just tea. So I did that and I just sewed my edges because I don't have a, oh, this is the one I dyed in the video. I don't have a serger, but I'm really pleased with how this turned out. And this piece of fabric, I can't remember the size. I think, I think it's a 15 by 18 inch. So it should fit the Suffrage Act fine. I'll do the math before I get started on it. So that turned out really well. Now the piece that you guys saw me dye, look how dark this charcoal is. This piece is a 30 by 36 inch. Now here's the difference. And there's some modeling in here, not a whole lot. I did end up dyeing this thing like three times to get the right color, but there's a little color variation. And this will be super fun to dye some, or to knit, stitch, stitch some Halloween stuff on and some darker or brighter colored things. So I have this piece and it turned out this was on um, Rit Dye Charcoal Gray. And I tried to make it a lighter gray and I ended up getting this really pretty purple, which is great. Now I know how to get purple, but I wanted gray. So this will just hang tight and I will use this for something in the future. It's fine, all of this will get utilized. Um, just not right now. So I'm just putting it all away. Um, so I think this is the same size as this, but the count is different. So I may end up using, yeah, that's the same. But this is a 32 count linen. I may end up doing the suffrage act on this. So I'll put both of these in and figure out exactly what I'm gonna do, which is fine. So I ordered, it's called Pearl Gray by Rit Dye, and I dyed it. Oh, I'm obsessed. Look at all the modeling. It almost looks like it's batiked, but it is not. It is just dyed one time in like a fourth of a cup of the Rit Dye and hot water. Same process I did before, just a different color. And I did hem these ends because I it drives me nuts with those... Um, with it fraying and I don't have that serger. So this, the Christmas one is gonna go on and then with whatever's left, I will utilize it. But this is the gray I was going for and it's a nice light gray. It's called Pearl if you're looking to do something like that. So that is all of this will go in here and I need one more piece of floss, one color I don't have and then this project, oh, and I made this. These are, um, if you're not a cross stitcher or if you don't do uh, embroidery, it's a, it's a charm, but I glued a magnets on the back. So the one magnet is glued on with E6000. And then this one, oh, I just broke it. Well, that stinks. I'm gonna have to go re-glue it. The glue... came off but it's a um, needle minder is what that is so when you stick it on your bag or your project the needle sticks to it if you want to like walk away for a minute so definitely want to make some more of these bags for sure um, it's just nice to have something to put my entire project in and I won't lose track of my notions or the things hi Alex you want to say hi <laughs> He does not want to say hi right now. So I'm going to put all this away and I'm going to get this video out. Um, give me some ideas down below of some things you would maybe like to see. Um, obviously, we're not out shopping, so I won't be doing any hauls unless it's like something that I ordered online, which I did order some Amazon rechargeable battery thing. I mean, that's exciting, right? 
And I had a Real Woman dollar from Lane Bryant, so the other day I went ahead and just ordered, um, what did I do? Okay, well I'll have to cut that. I ordered on Lane Bryant something. Uh, what did I order? Oh, a blouse that I actually had test fit last summer and I really liked, or last fall, and I really liked this um, shirt and the cut and it came out and I wanted it in black and it was gone before I could even order it. It like flew out of the store or off the online. So I got it in burgundy and then I ordered some summer pajamas. I just needed to use up the rest of that gift card that I had. I didn't need to use that up, but I had the gift card and I had a coupon. So I went ahead and placed an order. All right, guys, you have a good one and I will talk to you later.